the Auspice TV. Welcome to Samurai Bot Tutorial. In this video, I will show you how you can run Samurai Bot on mobile phones and on PC, and also how you can create websites, Android apps, and many other things with this app. If you don't have Samurai Bot before, you can quickly go to Play Store, which I've done here, and search for Samurai Bot. You can see. Now this is the app. If you have not installed it before, you can install it. But A, I've installed it. I need to open it now so that we can quickly do what one or two things. Click on open after you've installed it. Now we are going to two places. The first is website builder and red app builder. You can see we have many functionalities. So we can use it to it is inventory control system you can use the convert website link into android app you can see so uh, we have many other things but we are going to these two places website builder and android app builder so if you want to create a website you click on this place if you want to create an app you click on this place so here we go now it's because i've created a, a website before so what you need to do now is to log it out so if you have not created a website before you just continue so let me click here now so this is the starting point so if you just install samurai but this will be your starting point okay and if you want to log out maybe you logged into one website you can just type zero to log out you can see type guy you need my guide or zero to log out so now let's start type one to create a website type two to log into your website manager and type three to reset your password so type one to log to create a website now it's telling me what's my website name mm, let me just put sample website one other thing was the email address so we need to choose this kind of email we want to use now let me just put example four or example five six at gmail.com now another thing is create a password so let me just use this as my password and wait a minute you can see very fast your website is created successfully now type guide if you need my guide or on website setup or click here for free training you can see so we have training on it so if you click on this place it takes you to a uh, training complete full tutorial okay so now we have two places to go the first one is visit your website so this is my website let me click on this place so that I can check my website Now, being the first time, that's why it shows like this. Kindly, you can say, kindly configure your website. Okay, thank you. Now, your website name, maybe you want to change the website name. Let me change it. Enable user sign up or login in your website. Enable. Do you want to allow people to register or to log in on your platform or your website? If yes, enable. Okay, choose type of website you want to create. Uh, in this place, we have different types. I will have landing page, online store, book SMS, logistics, online school, business, and others. So you need to choose, even we have VTU website, hotel, online store. This online store is just like uh, online shopping. So um, we have personal portfolio. All these people, all these ones that are invaded, this thing, so that means they are, they are coming soon. Now we have a, uh, let me go for online school, online store. Yes, I know. Now contact number. So what's the contact number? So if you want this one, leave it like that. If you don't want, change it. But this is wrong. By default, your website comes with this number. So you need to change to your own number. Now button, now this one is button that will be on your website. Maybe when you had products, the button will be there. What will be that button? Buy now button. So if you want to change it, maybe contact us. If you want to change it to anything like you can edit it here. Now, which type of button will this thing be? This one. Which type of button do you want it to be? And if you want it to be automated button, that means uh, automatically when I click on that buy now, it's either uh, it will add it to a cart or I will buy it by adding to a cart uh checking it out no, just normal way um online store works but if you change this thing to take users 
to WhatsApp. You can see now it's telling me that I should go back to this number and change I have and add a country code in front so that anytime your user clicks on that product, they will be taken to WhatsApp to contact you. Okay, now that's just little info about online store, online store. Okay, so our and about this, we have different uh, we have different settings. So this is the introduction of Zamora Bot. So if you want more tutorial, you can check this YouTube channel or you subscribe so that we uh, you'll be aware when anytime I release new video. Okay, so I want automated button updates. Good, my website is done. Now this is my website. You can see make order. Now sorry, in this place. Let me check my menu. You can see about us, products, blog, files, accounts. So in case you want to log in or so my cards, nothing in there. Now this is a sample website, it's just a little this is what is called slider. You can see is a slider that will be in your website i will show you how you can edit that now by default three products come with your website three products but this the first one is what please delete me the second one please delete me so that means they are just sample you, you can see the picture there is uh, nothing you can see no picture so you need to delete it but uh, it is there so just to show you how your platform will look like you can see by now add to cart so scroll down, scroll down about us. You can see our advantages. All this you can remove them. Why choose us? This is it. Why choose us? Scroll down. Facts that frequently asked questions. So you can add more to it. Maybe uh, where do you deliver to question and answer? You can answer it. I will show you. Contact us. Now in this contact us, if you send a message, if your user sends a message, it should be delivered to your website manager and to your email address. Scroll down, you can see. So that's the details we have on your website. And also you can add to blog, there is and that. Don't worry, uh, what I'm explaining here, if you, want to, if you don't want to create a live store, you want to create other website type, it's still the same method just get the idea here so you are going to apply the same method the way i created my website just to cho just choose any website type you want after that you click on ok then you go to your website you can see your website now so if you want to save your website url so that you don't forget this is your website url now after this we go back to our website manager you remember that we clicked here last time so we need to click on this place to go to our website manager so that we can be able to manage our website so click on this place anything so do a simple survey choose anything and click on open good you can you can see here is this show you that your website link is this so maybe you forgot your password and uh, you sorry maybe you forgot your website URL so just get it here click on copy now after this now you can see the roadmap is already here so the next thing you need to perform the next thing you need to do to make your website look well so these are the things you can see provide unique details about your website delete sample of product and had yours so that means you need to delete those products and had yours you can see you follow all these procedures you are setting your website you are going to set your website correctly now you click on this menu you can see that fax i told you about when you click on this place click here then you add you can see add fax so what i likely question your user can ask what will be the possible solution or answer after that you click here product you can see so these are the three products so you need to delete them click on plus to add yours what is that to your add yours 
Now, what if you want to add categories so that you can categorize those products? So you click on this place. There's a full tutorial on that. There's a full tutorial on that. Or even immediately, you let me click on this place again. Immediately, you click on this product. Click here. That is a way to add categories of product. You can see something that comes down if you click here. So you learn more tutorial on how to do this place. So how to add category of product tutorials is already on ground. So don't worry about anything. So you're going to get everything right. And now that's how your website works. You can see for our slider photos, you know, the sliding photos that I showed you last time here, all these sliding photos, you can remove them. This text that's this text, you can remove them, edit, edit it and push yours by going to slider photos. So we have one mini, so we just have only two. Slider photo, you can see the first one and the second one here. Good. So you can delete them, add yours. Click on plus to sign to add yours. Okay. Now, what about if you want to remove the website? If you want to change this your website link. You can see your website here. So maybe you want to change it to samplewebsite.com or samplewebsite.com.ng. All you need to do is just come back to main dashboard. So after you've done everything, though, you can still click on it. Though. It doesn't stop you from editing your website. So remove sabiz.com from your website link. So you click on this place. Then you provide anything you want, any name you want. Example.com.ng. Maybe your store, your, your store is mystoreng.com. So put it there, mystoreng.com.ng. Put it there. So that's all. Now let's go back to how we can run Samura Bot on iOS phone. Currently, Samura Bot supports Android phones, but if you have, if you have iOS, there's no problem. You can still use Samura Bot. Here we go. I will show you now go to your browser and search uh, sorry type web.samurabot.com now this one will take you to web so which means we have iOS phone all you need to do just open your browser and type web.samurabot.com you can see where it takes me to it takes me to web and app creator so create a website and app you are proud of Click here to watch full tutorials on, on YouTube. So click on this place to continue. So let me quickly log in. And if you don't have an account, you click on register to register. But I have an account, let me log in. Okay, so this is my panel. I have I've created a website before. So I just blog. Okay, so any website you've created before or any app you've created before just click on them you can see you can download the app you can open manager now the way we created website that time in the uh, on samura bot the way we create this website that time is the same way you create android app so which means if i click on this place you can see i've created an android app before so type zero to log out you can see so welcome to samura app builder so the same way you can see create type one to create an android app type one and two to log into your app manager so the same way okay we have full tutorial I can say google for full tutorial on how to create android app with samura bot because this is just introduction of samura bot okay let's go back to our browser you can see so you can open my manager and if it is website you have to open website open your manager and then from menu we have many things to perform here you can see so that is a simple way or not to use samurai bot to create website and another app yeah I, I believe you enjoy this thing and any anywhere you are not clear with just go to google and search for anything so there are many tutorials online that will guide you okay and i believe everything is very easy on samurai because every section on samurai has its own tutorial Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'll be releasing some useful videos on how to use Samurai Bot effectively. Thanks for watching. Kindly click on subscribe button so that you will be notified anytime I release new videos.
Don't forget to click on the bell button beside it so that you will always be notified.